Martin Lewis. Meantime, a lockdown continues at Virginia Tech at the Blacksburg campus there because of a shooting that took place earlier today. And according to the Virginia Tech authorities there, two people have been killed. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Sean from Promotion TV. Now, what is going on here? This, yet again, is another bad day for Virginia Tech with another shooting. Reminiscent of four years ago when a psycho decided to go on a shooting rampage. Looks like somebody played too much Halo and felt they could treat people like those blue and green alien thingies that you find in the game. So news has it that Virginia Tech went in lockdown mode for several hours. We have with us now on the phone um, Tahid Chappelle. He's a senior at Virginia Tech. And Tahid, are you in lockdown in a particular building on uh, campus? Correct, um, yes, I'm in uh, Torgerson Hall right now, which is right next to uh, the Squire Student Center and uh, the library. Virginia Tech Police have identified the officer murdered today during a traffic stop on campus as Derek W. Krause, 39, of Christianburg. He joined the Virginia Tech Police Department on October 27, 2007, and served in the patrol division. He is survived by his wife, five children, and stepchildren, and his mother and brother. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, you know, people get shot every day, but that's the thing. People get shot every day. And what a messed up time to actually have this happen. Now, I'm not a big Christmas fan, but I'm sure his wife and kids were looking forward to a happy Christmas with the entire family. And now they have to spend it in grief. Now that's messed up. And in classic cowardly act, the shooter apparently killed himself. What a damn shame. But before you go though, I want to know, you think this world is getting better on a whole, or is it actually getting worse? Leave your comments and responses in the comment box below, and remember to thumbs up or thumbs down this video. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and the website. And as always, make sure to check out some cool YouTubers right after this. The suspect has been wearing black pants, a gray sweatshirt, uh, some sort of green cap, um, but that's it. That's all we've heard so far in terms of description.